Welcome to the channel. Today, we'll continue with Skyrim and the lore behind the places and people that we see. We are entering Whiterun for the first time. Now, Whiterun is the breadbasket of Skyrim. Um, it's a trade hub because it's in the center of the map. It's very strategically located. Right now in the Civil War, it is neutral. It doesn't want anything to do with Ulfric Stormcloak and his rebellion. Nor does it really particularly like Jarl Elisif of the Imperial side in solitude. He just wants to stay the hell out of it. Which... I get it, bro. I get it. Now, White Run is broke up into three districts. Market District. I believe it's called the Market District. The Cloud District. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. And I just can't fill an order that size on my own. That big ass. Why don't you swallow that there. stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Huh. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. They want to back the Stormcloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Now, Greymane or Battleborn. This is kind of a little family rivalry, like in Romeo and Juliet. Um, Battleborns. Side with the Imperial Legion, as you can clearly tell by his outfit. Grey main side with the Stormcloaks. Um, they used to be really good friends, close friends, before the Civil War broke out. But now they absolutely hate each other. Which is... Which is weird. So I wouldn't say Battleborn just so he likes us. Then I say, well met, friend. I could tell you were a sharp one the moment I and laid now eyes he's on our you. friend Long so if he dies empire. he will send us money which is weird honestly help. I don't understand need something uh, I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white run you're hmm I'd say we're prosperous enough the city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach, but you're probably more interested in your Vasker, your Vasker. Mead Hall of the Companions. But I am. deeds of war and valor are legendary. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Jorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Her father is kind of a douchebag. Thanks. Now, like Don't her father, to check inside the she shop has an overinflated sense of importance in the city of White Run. As I was stating when we first opened, this is the most prosperous city in Skyrim. Um, no one goes hungry as long as they're willing to work. There's only one beggar. Um, he's right here. I ain't done nothing. Come to chat with an old You woman. clearly have done something. Do your good deed for the day. So this is the market district. Where most of the shops are. Actually, all the shots, really. This is the Cloud District. A holy tree, Kenareth, which has a crest of past fruit because it's a crest. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I'm as I much a Nord as the next man, man, but I'm no fool. You won't starve. I don't live in the I'll past. I'll put it plainly. Like you can claim man. your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. 
Uh, you don't have to be there, but the kid that'll be. Sapir. Wait, I. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my dog, my Sapir doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. This is a minor quest. I'm no fool. Um, I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions. I mean, to if get you it. aren't going to take care of your, I don't wife, know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. <laughs> if he's like Did me, he, he likes his kid more, way more than he likes any kind of significant other. All right, kids, power gap, wife, bigger power gap, parent, brother, sister, family. Enormous power gap, everybody else. But Sword, please bring it to me. Right now, I'm stopping at the small minor crest when I hear the conversation going, so you can hear the context behind the crest. I'm not going to actively seek out crests right now. I'm trying to get back to Riverwood to do things properly. Um, this is Talos. For we are this is his priest. This land, is not allowed. According to the white girl concordant, um, if and thou marry dominion, send in just because if y'all Bogriff let them come in, will they would kill, they would arrest him and then probably kill him. Talos, the Talos is an amalgamation Talos, of free men, although in game you, text really don't talk about it all that much. Um, Hollow Stormcrown, um, Yzmail, his name, and a Breton man, whose name I also forget at the moment. I'm pretty good with this war thing, aren't I, guys? Hollows. Let me show you the power of Talos Storm Crown, born of the north, where my bread is long winter. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land with Anyways. I do this for you. Like these three men work together really you. closely. Um I love, love. And when they they died, they achieved so much fame for taking over the entirety of Tamriel that the souls kind of merged into an oval soul, which became the god Talos. He's a man, um, was a man, or three men, and um, they became godlike in life. With that belief, formed them as a god itself. Now, the owls say that he never was a god, but in Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, you do see an avatar of the god Talos. Um, so he clearly has some form of divinity. Now, the elves want to break that divinity. Well, there's a deep lore theory that the elves are trying to undo creation because um, it's really complicated so I'll give you the cliff notes that I know of but basically think of a wagon wheel with the center and then the eight spokes and then the outside right now the scent I think the over is uh Mundus, which is the mortal plane. Anyways, Mundus is held out by eight pillars of creation. One of those pillars is this, uh, this mountain. It's known as the Throat of the World. It's the highest peak in Tamriel. Um, a Nordic legend dictates that from this peak, the goddess Kinnereth breathed life into the Nordic people created the people. That's why they're called uh, uh, the Sky Children. And then there's White Gold Tower, which you can actually see the White Gold Tower if you come somewhere around Falkreath, which is right here. Like there's a, on the border map, 
there's a spot where you can go and you're high enough up to where on a clear day during the daytime you can actually see a small tower way in the distance that is supposed to be the white girl tower um there's a couple other towers Vardenfell's mountain red mountain that was a tower of creation um that got destroyed when it blew up white gold tower got heavily damaged and they believe in this theory that if they destroy all these tiles of creation or deactivate them the mortal realm mundus will cease to be and they'll go back to being gods so there's a theory that lord mary dominion is actively trying to unmake reality so they can be gods again it's really complicated. Extraordinarily complicated. Well, you have, there's no time <laughs> I don't. I, I don't even know all the details. My lord, please. What's the meaning this of this no interruption? I highly Barbara recommend the uh, YouTube channel truth. called Budge Muppet. They get into the deep lore much deeper than Who's me. This, then? They know way more than I do. I have news from Hogan about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Yeah, they might die. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? The dragon destroyed Helgen and I lost. And last, last I saw, it was heading this way. The Imperials were about to execute Orphic Stormcloak. Then the dragon attacked. Or, oh, yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. We're not going to give ourselves up like that. The Imperials were about to execute Orphic Stormcloak. Then the dragon attacked. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord. Yeah. We should send troops to Riverwood. Bitch mate. It's in the most immediate danger. If the that dragon is lurking in the mountains. Now all the name dragons in this game actually have a meaning him. behind their name in the we dragon language. Not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon we go, burns I don't know the dragon my hold language. and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. Here, take that. God damn it. Is another thing you could do for I'm trying to get out of the conversation. I'll suitable for it. someone of your particular, particular talents, talents, perhaps. You trying to hit on me, God. bro? Let's go find Faringar. I think I'm my cute. My court wizard. He's been I... looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Hmm. All this standing around. All this standing around is rubbish. The fight with the storm cloaks. I hate this. I hate the writing on this. Like when the the cloak guy Farngar starts talking, tell me the writing isn't terrible, and the voice acting for this segment is not terrible. Let's listen to it. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous uh, it gets ruin search of an on, ancient but... stone tablet that oh, may yes. or may not actually be there. Yes. Come on. Alright, where, where am I going and what am I fetching? This guy is Straight to the point, eh? fucking off. No need for tedious right. hows and whys. I like that. He also thinks Leave he's those way more important to than your he is. Betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls hey, cat. Arrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. 
An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. new tech weapons and armor ah student of the craft you'll need to start by learning an enchantment take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets the item is destroyed in the process so be wary once you know an enchantment you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant you'll use the arcane enchanter for that too of course i have everything you need for sale if you have the coin Tell me about the Dragon War. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost. But at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlords. Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical... Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Olaf one eye Hence is the ancestor. Name, Dragon's Reach. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost we'll be salts moving on after this part. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts? Yes, I'll Good. deliver the frost salts. clearly up. better suited than I am this to carry out you fucking end you, bro. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. Quickly. Neither am I, don't you think? Of course, Jarl yeah. Valgroof. Let me enable assistance. I'm sure he will prove most useful. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Alright, so, Dragon's Reach, as he said, by the way, Dragon's Reach is in the Clouds District. I was wrong on the district. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is a room that was designed to hold a dragon, and at one point, it did. See that? That drops down and holds the dragon down into place. Um, that's going to be important later on in the game. The dragon, Numenex, you can actually see his skull right there. At one point, White Run, um, as I said, the most prosperous city in Skyrim, was considered the Imperial City's equal in terms of prosperity. Not in size, Imperial City is way bigger than this. But in terms of prosperity, it was considered its evil. Now this building is the Clouds District. This is the only building in the Clouds District. This is called the Wind District. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. Or the nice house. Comes here. We'll be ready. And the uh, Temple of Kinnereth. This is a holy tree, the Gilded Green. The uh, burial site's right there. That's a mansion. I believe that's the Battleborn Mansion. Grey Main Mansion is right here. Dragons, I can handle. But this talk of dragons. Right here. World gone mad, I say. This is your Vasco. I 
believe it was made out of a boat, if I remember correctly. Anyway, this is the home of the 500 companions that came and did genocide against the snow elves. And this down here is the plains district. We'll be exploring these buildings more thoroughly when we come back to White Run. This is the player home that you can buy. Cost five thousand gold. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. You and Feindall both like the same girl? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Yes, two people spending time together never blossom into courtship. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindal visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindal. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Right, let's read this letter. Friends, fake letter from Feindal. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing, growing close, I need you to put your desire, any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I can never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in our married dominion and respect me as such. Sincerely, Fendall. Fendall. So Until he wants us time. to give this fake ass letter to Camilla Valerius, who him and that other guy both like. Now we have an option. We can take it to Fendall, uh, Fendall, whatever his name is, and he will decide to write his own fake letter and then ask you to give that to Camilla Valerius instead. Or we can just take it straight to uh, Camilla Valerius. Say, look, do you want me to hand you this fake letter? Rat him out. And um, regain a follower. Now, both guys can be our follower. But Fendall, Fendall is way more valuable. And I'll tell you why in a moment. So we're going to go ahead and well, dime out homeboy. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Valeria. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Ben wanted me to trick you into believing this letter was from Fendall. What are you ta Fendall. talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my, he, he wanted me to Fendall. think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Uh, we're gonna go back to here though, quick. Make some potions. Buy some meat from this guy, for that guy. I like to make friends with everybody. Need a room? Talk Can to Delphine. Lab? Long as you clean up. A little wheat. We have plenty of ingredients for Let's sale. Walk. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. There have been whispers. A boy up in... Have you seen this that shrine of Azura? They say the that. Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight. Looking at the Riverwood trader had his store broken into the other night. Oddly enough, barely anything's been drink for the thirsty food. 
Of course. It's all in this note. Of course. It's all in this note. I'm just a cook, lad. Come on. Of course. It's all in this guess. note. I ain't looking to me. Nobody trusts those mages. Okay, Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. Making potions and selling them is a good way to make money. And I'm all about that money. The monies. Oh shit. You're kind of fuzzy. What's wrong with you? You like ski? Let's sate that appetite. Food. Mm -hmm. Hell. Until next time. What are you got any ale? Anyways, or if you make friends, all right then. If they uh, if they die, you get an inheritance. Um, if you get married, they'll be at your wedding. There's a chance they'll be at your wedding. Um, and if they can be a companion. They'll be a companion. It's one o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna wait until the morning. Then we're gonna loot and pollute Fandor's house for everything he has. Seems I can figure out where the hell he is. Yeah, honey. There's beauty here, unmatched. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. I'm going to explain to you why he is the more valuable companion in a moment. Wait, I need your key, bro. I've got Trade your back. some things with me. What do you want me to carry? Give me your key. You. You lead, I'll follow. I wonder if I can just do it. Without him getting pissy with me. Hey! <laughs> no, I didn't want the fucking pot. I want the ball either. Although that's be good when I'm making my own house. I'm not making my own house right now. Taking all this because we gonna sell all this. Why do you have a girl's dress in your fucking? You doing some sh shady shit there, bud? I don't want that anymore. I want that. Battle bow. Battle ingredients. Hey, old girls. Oh. <laughs> We're a small village, but we work hard. Paint them white and then tie them to stump. Instant frostbite spider. Ragnar, nobody's gonna believe that your dog is a frostbite spider. Yeah, well, the Riverwood Trader. Bit of that. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Alright, we're gonna sell that. Sell that. Sell that. All these hides we're going to keep for now because we are going to make leather and then upgrade my leather armor while Damn we're in here me. before we head out into the wild. 
All right, now that we got how much money is we're gonna get? Where the fuck did he go? Papa says I'm too friendly, stranger. There you go. But you seem alright. All right. The reason why he's Stay better here. companion than Sven at this level, I'll show you what I know. Is he can train you up to level 50 in archery, right? So I'm gonna spend all my money training three levels in archery. And then I'm gonna go. Hey, I need to trade some things with you. What do you want me to carry? I'm gonna take my money back. And then I'm gonna go back into training. I'll show you what I know. More level. You can level. You can train a level. Uh, train something five times full level. Um, and that's over anything. So you can train five times. Even if it's like two in one area, one level in one area, and two in a different area. That's still your five times. So, take our money back. What do you want me to carry? Level up. Health. Archery. You, I'm right behind you. Can you train me better on archery? I'll show you what I know. Stupid what do you want me to carry? My money back. Hey, I'll, I'll pay you to train you me some more. Your training's you terrible. Give me my money back. Hey, can you train me once more? I'll show you what I yeah, know. Yeah, still not happy. I'm gonna need that refund. What do you want me to carry? Level up. Eagle eye. Now I can zoom. Can you train me in uh, archery? I'll show you what I know. And you just what do you want going. me to carry? I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry? I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. I'll show you what huh. I know. We need some leather. Leather? I need leather strip. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. He can forge it. Leather? Now nah, this is a vanilla games level armor, but with the DL uh, the, the creation club, they have level scout armor, which is slightly better, and quite frankly, I think looks better. So we're gonna make a whole set of that. We're gonna temper it. And then we're going to put it on because it's better than what we got. And this is what it looks like. You're looking for a new... Looking to protect yourself? And then we're going to sell all damage. the shit to this man. Actually... I'm going to wear those. So here, have the gauntlets back. The gauntlets I just made. Because unarmed strikes do 10, 10 additional damage. Until next time. I don't need the gauntlet bag yet. Um. Yeah, I mostly deal with oh. petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since you've had a good friend. Never. Now with the uh the mills, you can become friends with the mill owner. Just because there's always a wood chopping block at any of these mills. There's always one somewhere nearby. You grab two uh Chop wood one, just to get two pieces of wood. Find the mill owner. My favorite drink which, buddy. He's up hill. Todd is up hill.
here for work. Get an axe. Tell him the firewood. Got business here. And now honest you're his friend, and you can work. ransack his house for stuff that's under when the fifty dollars. Want them any bigger though. And the blade? Getting dull. We'll need a new one soon. I'll talk to Alvar about getting us a new one. At least the damn. We're a small village, got... but we work hard yeah. and take care of our own. Now Rayloff at the beginning of the game. We work hard. Um Try to do right that was with the stone cloak that you could escape with. Gordo in there is his sister, I believe. I've been looking for you. Got They're related, or family. I just don't Your remember if it's brother and sister or cousins. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Anonymous level. Someone please help. A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient dangerous magic. Which I feel will have unintended and irre irre irreversible consequences. Are expelled from the... From the studies, as the ambitions grew into folly against my warnings, the performing a ritual to summon a large group of these foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak in the southernmost area of Skyrim, and must be stopped before it's too late. That is the zombie rising crest. I own the lumber mill and pay a fair wage. See my husband here. And yes. that is it. Well, maybe he likes to be uh, told no, which is weird because if he's my son, I hate you. We all know. And turn your head back over there, bud. Level up. Stamina. I'm gonna put it in the sneak as soon as I can find it. There it be. There it is. There'll like to be a sneaky snake. All right, bud. Come here. You know the routine. I've got your back. I'll show Give you. Give me all that sweet, sweet training. What do you want me to carry? I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry? I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry? There's a few Lead companions on. in the game in which you can do that exploit with. He's one of them. Ben is not. Therefore, Fendal is the better companion in every playthrough. Even if you don't plan on using uh, bows, which bows are overpowered. They're stupid overpowered. Um, it's kind of dumb not to. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Quick save. <sighs> nope. Need to go a little higher, I think. <laughs> Boom. Second try. Level up. Oh shit. I did stamina too much. Sneak again. Give me some I've training. I've got your back. I'll show you what I know. 
What do you want me to carry? It seems like you have to fit the, I might kill you. I'll show you what I know. Leave your body in the garage. What do you want me to carry? I don't know. I'll show you what I know. One playthrough, I married the Miller what do you want Blair me to carry? and moved her into my house in White Run. Then, as I'm walking in my house, this motherfucker's walking out. Not having that. No, buddy. Not having that. Followed him outside. Shot him in the back of the head. And then hit his body, uh, body underneath the um, drawbridge. Because I'm spiteful like that. What do you want me to carry? I'll show you what I know. All right. But yeah, even if you move, he will go to wherever Camilla is. Trying to get a piece of that sweet, sweet action. Bro. Lead on. Got her. Alright, where'd I get this guy? Ooh, in the fucking... In the chat. Alright, where'd I get you? Nowhere? Did I get you nowhere? Are you playing dead? I don't know if you're playing dead. Not anymore. Gold? Preteen? Goddamn right he did. Yeah, I'm right here. Probably shouldn't shouldn't have stood there when you knew I was right there. You watched me. Ooh, damn! Between the eyes. Ah. Uh. Hasty. Hmm. You naked for this, buddy. We're gonna watch your body bounce. We're gonna watch your body bounce. We're gonna watch your body bounce all down the mountain. Come on, I don't want to get too close to the edge and then my body bouncing with your body bro bro just let go just let go oh, i didn't bounce I'm kind of just holding on for dear life uh, now we're gonna snipe some people up there. Now there's three people. And there's one on this side of the barrow. One that walks around that pillar that I'm highlighting right now. And then one standing by the door. So we're going to wait for the one that stops right about there. Up. Wait for him to come back. Cause he will get an arrow to the side of the dome. Maybe. Huh. 
Ew. Still here. Yeah, there you they go are. On ahead. I should have bought Muffle so I can level it up as I'm doing all this sneaky, sneaky stuff. We might head back to Riverwood to buy Muffle spell, which is a good way to level up my illusion as we're going. Let me clear out the front side first before I do any of that shenanigans. Alright, changing the camera angle so I can see. That was bold, Pucky. Alright. Since we're about to go down there and sell all this crap anyways, we're gonna pick up... We're gonna have Fandal. Do his magic on us with his art spray. Now we can slow down time by 25%. When we're zoomed in. We heading out? I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry? I'll head back home if you need me. Shall I shoot him in the back of the head? No. Why don't I go to White Run? I'm I think while this dude's waiting for me to take this crest, he's always here, so I'm not My gonna ask him. Oh, Although of I should. A bit of that. We are gonna ask him. Alright. Have all that, buddy. Books. He doesn't have muffle. He does have a backpack though. Ooh, a fine leather backpack. Ooh. This increases my stamina by 20 points. But this looks nice. So are we going for the backpack that looks fancy or are we going for the backpack to boost our stats? Fancy. And it has a bedroll. Ooh, cat, you said a little too slow. Said a little too slow, kid. Damn thieves. As if things weren't. You gotta click on the. You gotta. I'm going to right run, see if, uh. 
the Breton general store on Bell. Something starts with B. Well met, traveler. This is what the Romeo, by the White way, in the Romeo Juliet story in this town. Miss Juliet is a uh, great name. I'm here to help in any way I can. Truly? Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path. May your sword be sharp. And your Bellathor, that's the name I was looking for. Bellathor. Guy tells you that he'd sell his own sister if he had the opportunity. That's how uh, greedy this man is. It's locked not locked reason. anymore. Piece of shit. Thank you. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, everything's for. Oh, a bit of this a bit and of a this. bit of that. Motherfucker. Fucker. Ah. Walk into the wrong place with your weapon drawn. Why not, you motherfucker? You ain't gonna do shit about it. Hold on, there's a side quest. What the? Maybe some other time. I will reveal your destiny. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? Crying. So don't Ooh, talk to me about something. Maybe trepanning. <laughs> the son chose his side and he chose poorly. And now he's gone. Mr. Such is the Would you spare a coin? Will you accept his loss? I'm so... Oh, thank you. Divine. Bless your kind heart. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. This dude and his father so right there that's not there for some reason is talking shit to this woman about her son. Where are you holding my Thorold? They'd be twice as fresh. Do you believe this old hat? The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, cow. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. A fellow and you, down on his luck. you best keep your so you mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. It's not wise to discuss it here. Yep, I'm not going to do that for a while. I spend a lot of time at the market stall, so I can... I'm trying to find Muffle. And we are going to complete um, the barrow before I end this stream. You fucking better have it, Fongar. What are you still doing? You better have it. I had you figured I'm for me. Punch you right in the mouth. I think you'll appreciate this. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Books. Boom. Illusion, we're gonna favorite that. To Bleak Falls and we're gonna Barrow fucking cheese it. Boop. Although it uses so much of my It takes a while magic. to make a dress, Dagny. You have to but. be patient. But, cop, not, my son thinks anybody is fucking uh, Anything is tasty. He's like, oh. Wow, that's 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 metal. Get get it on it, Matt. Fade in. Well, I guess you like metal then. I dented my can because I'm stupid. Magic. You used to eat. You don't eat now?
hunting bow, hunting bow. We're gonna shoot both of these people before they know what's going on. Ah, oh, you just got an arrow in the fucking arm, bro. Walk it off. Walk it off. What? Mmm, skeever tail. Ah, oh, so tasty. Alright, this chick took one to the... Graceful neck. I think both these guys are playing dead. You don't actually play dead. Either you're dead or what the what the Did I get it? Okay. Okay. Double tap. Can you imagine walking through those fucking spider webs? I'm like, nope. Not doing it. You used to eat a lot of bad things. You ate an M&M &M off the DMV floor? What the fuck? You worried about COVID? Jesus Christ. Watch this. Push the button, bud. Push it. Note to self, don't do what he did. Wonder what order we should do it in. Nostalgic. I saw them. Hi. Level up. Excuse me. Thank you. Poison. Is someone coming? Is that Hunting bow. Do I have any battle arrow? Oh, fire arrow. That seems cool. Do that. Then we're gonna fucking put some bed up. Bye. 
Bye. Give me that venom. Me down before anything else shows up. I need that golden claw, bud. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Alright. Sweet breath Let's of our Thank you. For you bud. The reason why I'm doing this is because as soon as he drops, you can turn around and fucking try to run. And he's gonna get an arrow to the face. Oh. Oh. All Veros Journal. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Luke and Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually their key to Bleak Falls Borrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hand. Alright. So what they mean by that is you gotta look at it. So you go to the Golden Claw. You look at it. And what stands out is those two little, three circular things in the palm of the claw. I don't really need to remember it because I already know it. Draga. Draga or... I wouldn't say zombies. Because they don't eat brains. But they are reanimated dead Nordic warriors um, that basically guard and protect the boroughs and the ancient temples from the Dragon Wall. All these places, all these ruins were built during the Dragon War, or the time when the dragons ruled Skyrim. So the dragon priests use their magics to basically take all these guys and make them undead protectors of all these various temples and ruins. No breathing. Don't give a fuck. If I get shot in the face, would it be wrong? Would it be right? If James took my life tonight, James is all dynamite. Ow! You mistimed it. <laughs> this time so bad.
par là. Miss time. So hard. Well open. Mushrooms. More mushrooms. Muffle. Bow. That fucking hell clip on. More mushrooms. I wonder if these glowing mushrooms get too hot. Find out. Oh. That one. Ah, just makes you wish a shot. Give me mushroom. And the guy that's about to get shot in his face is right across this hallway. My bad. Nah. Got on his neck. Twice. Leak balls. Thank you. Don't judge me, Hal. Do not judge me. It hurts my feelings. And, I mean, watching a grown man cry is bad enough but watching a bald pasty pasty but ugly man cry is far worse you get shot in the gut enjoy that new belly button bud you get shot in the back of the neck have fun with that He wasn't expecting that. Do you hate when men cry? You can't handle it. Women are easy. I don't know what women have to do with men crying. Like women don't make it's easy to make women cry? That's is that what you're getting at now? Oh, well, it's because you're a woman yourself, you don't find it attractive when men cry? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where you're going with that line of thought. Alright. Now, the game wants me to look at the palm and then match the... But I'm not. Because it's really this... Tough code to crack though, bud. Oh. 
Alright. Oh, look at this cavern. Spooky bats. Now, am I gonna fight this guy the way the game intended? Or I'm gonna take off as soon as this fucking crypt starts to open and just shoot him in the back of the head from a distance. Just no, I'm here, guy. So, oh, venom. Oh shit! I didn't want to use that yet. I need fire oil. No. Come on. Put your head where somewhere I can see it. Oh. Dragonstone! Can't really tell. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to strip all that crap. Where is my computer? What armor did I put on? I want to put on armor. I already got that. This is the dragon wall. This is where I get new shout. I already grabbed it. Which is what prompted that guy to wake up. Yoinky. Yoinky. Dunzo. You like the distance fighting? Jump off that, ladies and gents. Emotional damage. Four damage. Two inches. Yeah, the ice is right. All right. Little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Going to Anais's cabin to shoot her in the face. Seems like a nice woman, right? Oh, just I'm just a poor old woman, woman dear. No need, need to trouble yourself, yourself with me. What if you go into a basement and you find out she's a necromancer? I'm gonna use the enchantment. Don't want that. Did I beat her to death with my claws? Ananis, Ananis, Ananis's letter. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing through your in your blood. You only have to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come, come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training will fully begin. He's trying to become a hag right now. 
Oh, uh, bitch. One hit. One hit with my claws. That's fucking anticlimactic. Fuck. Just in case she's faking it. Just in case she's faking it. Bang. Now you did. A body wrinkly, but it's not bad. Gonna steal all your shit. Gonna steal all your shit. Hey, look, a free backpack. Alright, there's another little mine right here that I don't feel like going to right now. Because we're already 17 minutes over schedule. Oh, he has another fucking... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Moving yard. up in the world, eh? Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Obi, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sajiro, and I have the honor to be the Yarl of the proud ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. Aside from the, the honor that accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house call. I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain. Anyways, that is just introducing us into the homestead aspect of the game. The Falkreath homestead is my favorite one. It takes place somewhere about here, which is why the mod I made for that home is over here. I like being on the next to this light. The other one is I think from winter. There's three of them total. Apparently Aiden wanted to say three to us, or Cat wanted to say three to us. I don't know. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general Did something store. happen? Uh, yeah. We, we We're going to give it back to him, get the gold, and then steal it rub we still right have back. Plenty to Instant. sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold. In the <laughs> you found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Oh really? Put that I down. Do put what down? I'm, what? What? What do you want, bro? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to take this, and this, and this. This, and this, and this. Uh, I could marry Camilla Valerius and just take everything in this place. But I don't want to marry her. Because she uggo. He ago. All right. While we are here, we'll walk back into Sleeping Giant Inn. And just in case you didn't pay attention to her face and her voice, she might not be here. Actually. Let's see. 
might not be him. Oh, yeah, no. All right. How did you remember the face and voice of the blonde innkeeper that was in here? The one that was yelling at him? Did you pay You're attention to friend. it? Like I told you to? Here, take this. You'll like it. Oh, thank you, bud. You're randomly giving me fucking. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Alright, well, she's about to make an appearance. You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible She's not just answers. an innkeeper, is she? Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, have let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ba! Ah, yes, the Yarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it No, seems. I did not. Ah, shit. the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Yarl sends my way. I got you the Dragon Stone. What next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. I we're not going to do the opening dragon battle this stream. We are going to do it next time. With that, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you for checking us out. Check out the Discord, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. All of it is linked down below in the About section. And I will see y'all next time.